Welcome to the station where big stories live. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we spill and sip tea while analyzing the biggest entertainment stories. I'm your fellow Oshinke, and I'm here with Ewa Ritu and Benny Ak. What's good, guys? What's good? I'm bless you. Happy New Happy Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> the second Happy of New Year. January 2020. Mm. Yeah. And it's already Thursday. I was actually thinking today it was a Wednesday. Mm -hmm. It's Thursday already. Thursday, Thursday and tomorrow is Friday. We'll be doing the TGIF and then we have our first turn up for the 2020. If you will not rest after the old 30 December, no, I you're still breaking. No, I didn't have 30 December. If I... Mm. I'm sure the viewers right now, like, where did they get this boy? Because every weekend you're always turning up, you know. I'm working, turning up. Mm. And then my December wasn't even dirty. It was a nasty December. Okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Did mm. you have a dirty December? No, I don't do, I don't do, I don't do such. We don't do dirty, right? How about okay, you? you guys give it another name, right? I don't do no dirty nothing, man. I just, I just leave. You just leave, do. leave. Yeah. yeah. So speaking about that, um, do you believe in New Year resolution? No, I don't. Okay, so you don't have any. It's right? just, it's just a cliche. It's, it's a, it's a charade. Many people just get. So what do you aspire in. for when you're getting? I make, into I make plans. I make plans, mm -hmm. and I lay down steps of how. I'm going to go about it as a kid in those plans. But some people action. would say it's a resolution. That is just, no. that's, you, make, you just don't call it resolution. Nope. I make plans every, I make plans every day. I wake up every day intentional and deliberate. I make plans every day, so. And why um, I mean, that's, I guess that's, you're the only one on no, that resolution table. So yeah, well, feeling, that's fine. I'm not that's very like, fine. I'm very comfortable with it. It makes me a better person and I do not have any problem with anybody I'm not anybody feeling like there's a thunderbolt that just suddenly woke me up and made me realize that, whoa, it's 2020. It's so just, it's, no, differently. No, I'm just keeping up with the things. I was even saying that. I'm but I think you guys um, don't even understand what the resolution is because you're, you keep saying do things differently, mm. do things differently. Mm. Resolution so what, what is does the resolution? Not, okay, now for me. It has to be New Year for you to make a resolution. Hold on. Well, I it make resolutions every day. That's fine. It doesn't have to be yeah. New Year, mm. you get. But I feel it's just something that helps you hold yourself accountable. Like, okay, this year, this I is what It has to be, because it'll be every day. It has to be a New Year and, for okay. you to hold yourself accountable. And, oh, no. I was even saying something you know, that's, that's I very said fine. before you even go to bed every night, you should reflect on your day. What did I do wrong? And that's why I say it's a cliche. Okay, see, hold on. At the end of the day, it's fine. And at the end of the day, really, it's not about the year. It's about your mental state of being. Maybe we're in a new year. Maybe we're in a new year with the same old mindset and ways of behavior. Nothing is going to change. So it can be 20, 30 tomorrow. Tomorrow, if you don't change your mental and your mindset, your mind shift, the power exactly. down, it's just a number. Well, that's for you. I mean, that's very okay if you feel that way. But Resolution works point. for me. Said, um, I've always makes... been doing it, and it has always been working for me. And it has me. to be the beginning of every she new did, year. She made a that's a cliche. Point it's not a cliche. Said, it is. Okay, it's not. Does. Why must it be the beginning of a new year for you to make Okay, well, for me, I feel like after every Resolutions year that I've Resolutions are not I've for spent, New Year's. After every year that I've... That's why it's called New Year Resolution. That You can make <laughs> resolution anytime of the day. Do you understand? But there is a particular Who new year. made it a new, new year, year resolution? resolution? Well, I gave myself the new year resolution. No, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. Okay. You came into a mold. You met, you fitted into a mold that was created. Mm -hmm. created that's it. You and you kept well, the society, the, if that's what you think, the society created it and it has been working for me. That didn't work. In yeah, so sorry yeah, for your loss if you said, don't do that and it does not work for you. No, but that's if you okay. say it's working for you, that's cool. It's working for me and there are lots of people out there that it's working for. So. <laughs> make a resolution yesterday after we listened to Ewa. So we'd just like you to make just one resolution. No, I'm not making any resolutions. He does not, not have to one. make a resolution, no, actually. No, no, but we did it. We he can keep to. living himself every day. That's okay. fine. So I don't make, I don't make do you resolution. you think you'll be doing differently this year? I'm just going to put more effort into my, my plans and course of action to achieving what I want to achieve in my life, that's all. All right, so, and then that's we also resolution. played a game on the show yesterday. I'm not making any resolution. Okay, so we also made, um, played a game yesterday where we all had to confess to something we did in 2019. So we need you to make one confession. Something people don't know, just confess about anything you did. Maybe it could have been a mistake, could have, it could have been a positive step. Just tell us, just confess about something you did mm. in 2019. Because when you say confession, what just comes to mind for me is like something, something negative I did. Yeah, something. it doesn't. Yeah. Have, it doesn't matter. It, could, it can be negative. Like they said, them um, they they gave love a chance, and then it came back to bite them in the behind. Um, say your own name. I think Mine, I found love, and I think I'll be getting married in 2022. Oh, congratulations! Um, Thank you. Um, I think for me to be, I. 
I allowed myself got played. I got played. Mm. Even when all the signs were clearly there saying, you know what, you're getting played, my, my heart wouldn't accept what my head was saying to me. So it was, it was really stupid, even after there were literally signs that were to let you know, you know what, dude, you're getting played. I mean, end this right now. Mm. But I just kept up with it. And at the end of the day, you know, like, it made me feel like my mama raised a fool when I know I'm no fool. So mm. yes, that was, that was really, that was really um, something pretty awful that happened to me in 2019. But amazingly, I get off, I, I, I end stuff like this. Once my mind is made up, I fight for stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't like stuff I believe in and love, especially when it comes to love. I don't like giving up so easily. But yeah. when I finally make up my mind, it's like it never existed. That thing never happened. Mm -hmm. So that's the state I'm in right now. It never happened. Mm -hmm. And I, I just, I look back some days ago, like in my mind, like, what the freaking fig were you allowing yourself to do, you mm -hmm. know? All right, so um, 2020 moving forward, do not get played. And speaking of <laughs> 2020, Dami Queen has asked for a balance in 2020 as he has realized that Nigerian songs get played more than Ghanaian songs in Ghana. So um, I haven't lived in Ghana for, I lived in Ghana for about five years. And I can tell you for a fact that Nigerian songs get played more than their own songs. Like, I could keep up with every song that was playing in Nigeria, being in Ghana, compared to how I could keep up with a song that got released that same week. But I would know a Nigerian song that got released that week in Ghana because it would be on rotation on all their radio stations out there in Ghana. So I was able to keep up with the Nigerian trend way more than the Ghanaian music scene. So I understand where Dami Queen is coming from. But I don't think it's, it's a place to say that um, only songs that have Nigerian artists featured should be played, should be on rotation and all of that. Now, it's left to the Ghanaian, the um, on-air personalities, the radio presenters, the people playing the videos. Now, to make it a conscious effort to make sure that, okay, in as much as um, we know that Ghanaian music, I mean, Nigerian music is good, we still try to promote our own. And I think a lot of um, celebrities from Ghana I've also made it. Um, obvious, yeah. Sorry. I mean, when I read that story, I pretty, I pretty much laugh. Is Dami Queen, is it Ghanaian or Nigerian? It's Nigerian. And then my and... point is, can you force music on people? Do you understand? No, because there's a point that, uh, there, there was a point in Nigeria that Nigerian song was not raining, and it was yep. not the trend. We had yep. Congolese raining, we had foreign music raining. Yeah, but you know, I mean, you can't force, it's what people accept that you, you want to play to them. You can't force music on people. Um, it does not work that exactly. way. Exactly. And in Nigeria, we have the NBC. That's mm. the regulatory body mm -hmm. of um, broadcasting, and they say it's 70% local content and 30% foreign when it comes to radio radio mm. play. Um, Dami Crane, does it work for the Ghana I don't broadcasting? Get it. I don't understand where he's coming from. Is he, is he trying to sound like relevant for, for the Ghanaians or what? And saying there's got to be a balance. 2020 has got to be I think he spends a lot of time in Ghana these days. After his old scandal in America, I think he moved back to Ghana and he started um, doing a lot of things there. So maybe he's just trying to be like the voice of the people oh, wow. and because a lot of Ghanaians also complain about this that when they go to the clubs they don't even listen to their own Ghanaian music but like you asked it that's a valid question is he Nigerian or is he Ghanaian because it's a win for Nigerians and as a patriotic citizen of this country by all means please can more Nigerian songs be played all over the world. That's what I will be advocating for right. as a patriotic Nigerian and not saying that, okay, stop playing our songs. And I'm, and I I'm mean, sorry. for me. And I'm sorry, we are talking about um, one of the biggest continent in Africa, one mm. of the biggest countries in, I mean, the continent of Africa, Nigeria. I mean, we have, we have music. And I'm going to say one this One of the in, biggest, I'll call yeah, it the biggest. Biggest, you know, I'm going to say this in, 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 um, in favor to the Ghanaians, mm. their sound, they had a more defined sound than we came into a sound. They came into their sound long before we ever mm -hmm. did. Mm -hmm. All right, and so if we're just coming into our sound right now. For a long time, we couldn't tell what our music was. Mm -hmm. But the Ghanaians had always had a defined no, sound. No. And the American should not forget, there was a period also, there was a whole lot of Ghanaian song playing in Nigeria. <laughs> I was going to say that like, <laughs> there were a whole lot of Ghanaian. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
um, style, sound and style in our music, in our, in our music such so, as the Mad Over uh, You by Ron Town. That's it. You understand? I mean, I feel like what most of their artists should do, like um, someone like Sako Day and Shatawali, I feel they try to infuse the Nigerian sound in their music. That's why they are still very relevant and people are listening to their yep. song. And you, if you're an artist, I mean, just look out, like, what do people want to listen to and give them what they want mm. to listen to. You can't, music is like a trend. I think Jamie 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 at, at some is point. Also talking from a place of pain because it's featured a lot of Ghanaian artists and those songs don't get to. But that's nobody's business. There. Come on. So I said, that's why I said I think it's also coming from a place of pain because when I was in Ghana, he had like series of, for a moment, I thought, ah, as this guy relocated there. I see him in Nigeria this week, I see him back in Ghana. So he goes back and forth. But I think right now he's more of a Ghanaian. So he needs to get busy. Come Even on. Mr. That's Easy. That's, that's I mean, <laughs> just get busy. Even Mr. Easy, Easy is not saying this. <laughs> and Mr. You Easy know? cannot even say that again. The, the, after the, 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 the after backlash. the backlash he got there, no. <laughs> he knows better. I mean, he knows, he knows better, better now. <laughs> yeah. All right, so it's time for us to go on a break. But when we return, we still have more stories to discuss. Go nowhere. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do it. Everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal are you? Mm. Akpala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi like woo! Sleeping early, sleeping early. Welcome back to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Moving on, Sean Combs, popularly called Didi, says he went through a state of dark depression in a video message he recorded to mark the end of 2019 and celebrate the new year. Hmm. Now, there's a lot going on with Didi right now, mm. from his um, alleged gay, gay. confession, mm. now to him... Um, no, did he really confess being gay? I don't, nope. I don't no, think I, that's why yeah. I said alleged okay. mm. gay confession to um, this video that was released where he said um, he went through a dark phase of depression all through 2019 that some people might have added really good, but it was difficult for mm. some. But what helped him was um, the beautiful people around him who helped to lift him up and um, I think um, it's, it said no matter the money, no matter the fame, everything that you are still prone to depression, depression is real. So I think that's a topic that we've been dwelling on a lot in 2019, 2018. We spoke about, um, we spoke a lot about depression and a lot of people actually came out about their depression um, state and all of that. So I think uh, we all know by now that this is not a topic to play around with. Depression is real. A lot of people, we, we saw more um, suicide um, in Nigeria in 2019, in 2018 20 slash 2019, than all the previous years we've had in this country. So um, I think um, this is real. So coming from a DD, I would say that, okay, this is very uh, motivational because if you see him, you think he has all the stuff put together and all of that, but it's letting you know that even with all those videos you saw, with all, with all the ad work he put in, it was still going through a phase. So um, like you rightly said, if you know anyone going through a dark time, a hard time, this is the right time to just show them some love, be supportive and... Um, I'm sure everything will get better. So for everyone going through depression out there, our heart goes out to you and we can only pray you get better. But um, I don't know what you guys have to say on this one. Okay, um, for me, I think, <clears throat> I, I mean, I'll, I'll probably fall on the side of the people that think that the reason why he's depressed is because he, he wants to, you know, come, come out, out of, the and, closet. of his closet and just openly tell everybody that he's gay. Because to be honest, a lot of celebrities, he has been caught in situations, words of his own mouth, and then they, they won't give him the chance to take it back or try to correct all those things that is pointing to 
and being gay. And I mean, if you're not living your truth, it is something that can lead to depression and that is very sad. But <clears throat> I'm happy that he has good people around him to help him come out of that and like you rightly said if you have anybody depressed around you just look out for them and I hope that the internet trolls will just calm down with him. It's talking about depression and people are still not taking it easy with him, telling him, okay, just come out of your closet, tell us you're gay and you'll be fine. But I think they should just take it slow with him and understand that he's not in that very good position to, you know, receive all that backlash right now. I think for the longest time, Nigerians um, were pretty much in denial about mental health issues around mm. here because when you say mental health issues, the first thing to think about, the thing maybe you go in mental, you go in insane psychiatry, you know, but... Um, it's coming to the fore right now, and depression is no respecter of regard whether you're rich or whether you're poor. Yeah. It's mm. a mental state mm -hmm. issue. It's a mental issue. It's a mental health issue. Um, look at someone like Robbie Williams, who would have thought, I mean, he, he was successful in his career. He had money. And look at someone like Avicii. I mean, he was successful. I mean, he the list many. is long. And also, we can stop calling out names to let you know that mental health is n has nothing to do with you being poor, has nothing to do with being rich. For those mm. who feel because um, you're poor, you don't have money, that's why you have a mental health issue. No, mm -mm. It, it cuts across the board on everybody. Even and the best life. Yeah. Even the people Most that, the people even the people the that are life. loved. Yeah, exactly. You know, even most people, people that live are loved. their best life that yeah. we all get to admire mm. on Instagram. You know, you want to have a bit of their life. They, yeah, they deal with things. Mm. There's just something that it's not just connecting. The dots are not just connecting. Mm. And that could just be the, the dark part of their life and the sad part of their life. And if not properly taken care of to become suicidal, you know. And Didi, Tony Boudin. Didi, I still don't want to, I just want to <laughs> believe that Didi is just messing around with people's minds. Mm. With the um, blood orange yeah. song yeah, where they called. Listen, that is art. I can say anything in, in art form. Mm -hmm. And don't forget, our life imitates art and, and vice versa. Until, I, mean, I mean, I was feeling that way yeah. until I started taking his fellow man to another male strip no, those club. those things happened until... way back. So you know, let's I give mean, examples it's still, of things still... that happened where... Again, it could just be for the fun of it, a different kind of vibe, a different kind of mm. fun, you know. Would you go to because I asked myself, a if, strip that's it, I asked myself, or would you call it fair daddy? If there was a no, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's suspect, Gage, bro. It's Gage, I mean. it's never, <laughs> there was already a lot of alcohol in that show. Mm. Mm. They, they, they're taking a whole lot. So at that point, I think Diddy, Diddy's messing around with people's mind. That's what I think. Mm -hmm. um, the, but it, a lot it, of people <laughs> are now say that, okay, with Porter, this happened then, the girl that was engaged to for a long time, for Cassie. Tanya, Cassie. Cassie. Mm. And then they said, okay, maybe that's the reason why did he have a child and then she moved on. So I wouldn't say it's gay, then probably mm. it just swings, it swings both ways. ways. Mm. But, you know? Of course, for him to have a relationship and then, with and someone then, for, um, for someone time. like Didi, who is a public figure, I think is the good um, endorser of the LGBT community. Mm. So you could have been paid good money for those words he said on that song, just to make it look like a Diddy mm. support. It's an artist. And then if you notice that Diddy has been talking a lot on songs, he's been talking on uh, Make Mills track, well, what's the name of that song now? I can't remember for, um, for the right song, yeah? But um, he, he said a lot on that song. The part two of that song came out, he was still talking. So we know Didi to be somebody who talks. And then I tried to watch the end of that video where everything happened. I think he spoke about that based on circumstances. And for all you care, he could have been talking about a woman and saying, okay, be open to no, the love. Course. Be loved the way you want to be loved. Ignore the fear. It's if art. you feel music like... Music is art. That's the art form of music. And so, like Ella Riley said, that yeah, you could, you could decide to did you use mm. otherwise from that song again? It could just and it could you know, just be music. It's my bad boy yeah. nature. Just mm. I just want to love me for who I am. I, I really don't want to commit to anybody. I just want to play around, but still, hey, be there for me, love me for who I am, what you mm. see. And, and, and if, I, I ask myself this: what does, Didi, what does Diddy? What does Diddy have to lose if he actually comes out and say, I am gay? He has nothing to and lose. It, he I, has I, kids already. To be honest, no. a, lot yeah, of people, yeah, yeah. a lot of people kept on asking that yeah, question. Like, Didi, kids. if you're that's really it, exactly. gay, just come out because people will still listen to you. People will still celebrate you. You're there already. Just come out and say it. And, okay. and that guy is 52 years old. I don't think at this 
age, he would not know exactly what it was. So no, 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 but no, no, don't say that. Again, he could be very yeah. careful again. Well, you know, don't it's say a black that. community. Yeah. Acceptance, mm. rejection, mm. he can all of that can still be going through mm. his mind. Even from his own you know, family, yeah. he, might, he might just be trying to protect his family, yeah, his children, and everybody around him. So it's and a so, difficult and, and this one. is again to let the whole world know that you know what the world we're living today, some people are gay, deal with it. I mean it's really when yeah. it's not in Nigeria where I mean, it's a crime. It's a Western um, country where it's a, it's acceptable. So I think it's okay for Didi to come out of the closet. I feel the old world will get to it even if it comes But I think out. we should move on to the next story. So Ronket Siami, you apologize as after she mistakenly released, mistakenly released an exclusive video of herself on New Year's Who's Eve. She was the um, former most beautiful girl of Nigeria. She's an actress. Okay. Okay, now you're interested in watching she, has she been, has she, has she, has she been on the scene for a while? Has she, very, has she been on the acting scene for well, a while? Well, she, she puts out a lot of messages. And, I'm sorry. Um, that video was not a mistake. It, it, it wasn't a mistake. It was, was, was deliberately released. Because I, I would agree with Benny because <laughs> it was on a story for about four hours, and that's not a mistake. And... I mean, no, that, she said she deleted it immediately, but because of Snapchat's error, it was people on a saw story it for, for four, four hours. hours. There's no way yeah, you would. Yeah, she said it was a Snapchat. If error. I, there's <laughs> no way on Snapchat that you would delete a video and it would remain there for four good. It's not possible. No, trust me, it, it does not work that way. But I mean, this is not a good. Honestly, I would say this is not a good way to introduce yourself to the world. Even Thank if you. you want to do the pre out stunt and the whole publicity thing, everybody does. There are other things. I mean, there are other things i don't think this is good enough and then I that feel. video was way too explicit for it to be a mistake you know and then i'm wondering why you would even be recording yourself doing that in the that's even place. a personal business to be honest i don't care why she was recording herself yeah. but my point is she should not come um, out to say that sorry sweetheart we all know how to use snapchat mm -hmm. the camera has got to be in front of you mm -hmm. and then you got to press to record and then you it have doesn't automatically <laughs> upload itself. Yes. Yeah, so no, 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 no. no. Let's, let's, even admit, let's admit that okay. sometimes it could be a mistake. mistake. Okay. But there's no way you would delete but a video. Immediately. Immediately. No, you realize on. it was a mistake. Oh, I wasn't supposed to put out there to the blogosphere. You click, you click on delete. But you four hours on your Snapchat page. Sorry, sweetheart. You just wanted an introduction of yourself, mm. and you went about it the wrong way. Honestly. What happened to posing nude? I mean, uh, to be honest, that one, everybody will agree that well. Is that's okay. And then she okay. apologized, and she's saying that she made a mistake. And, and do, then some do you know that that video she... was not trending, and nobody was saying anything oh. about the video? Tish, she so started talking about So maybe this is what it. she wants to use to trend this um, 2020 yeah. mm. by releasing this type of video. And uh, the spotlight's on you now, honey. I mean, All you right. need to. Re <laughs> there was something she said, and I'm like, no, this video was very deliberate because she said something like, um, I know some of you can still see it now. So I felt. She she, she left the videos there, then she came to release it. Up, do, do you know? Yeah, like you can still see. So in case you missed it, go search. Come on, girl. Your, girl, your PR team. We know your they gimmicks. Are not, we know your gimmicks. They are not so good. Just <laughs> accept it that you put out a video and you wanted it for a viewing The old one will get to that. I would, have okay. given her, I would have given her a better PR story if she had come to me. You know? Mm. And she would be trendy by Maybe now. Maybe you guys would have done the Ray J and King. No, Chicky, I mean, she would be, trend, be trendy by now, beyond what, she, what the trend is right now. Wow. Okay, so <laughs> moving care. on. Okay. <laughs> you don't care what from the wise, so you, you know you can come do more. You know, continue where you stopped. <laughs> That's more like it. I didn't see the video. I don't think I want to see the video. Like, it, didn't, it didn't last ten seconds. No, twenty it didn't. seconds. No, it didn't. It didn't. <laughs> I didn't watch it too. Come on, why are you making me look like a You girl? didn't watch it? No, I watched it, but I didn't watch it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's time for us to take a bow on this episode of Tea Time. And I'm saying have a great day. But remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Outer TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always go to goes to my co-anchors, Ewa and Benny, for their amazing contributions and the entire production team, Miami for Lua saying thank you for watching and see you in a bit.